All right. Hey guys, third fan of the night. Third fan of the night. What do we have here, Rick? All right, we have a little air cool spinner. Um, it is from 1987. I don't really know much beyond that. I find it pretty cool because it has the same bottom vents that you'd see on like a, a typical uh, residential spinner. Well, with a or, e- or even one with a even one with a motor housing. Like a, I've seen even yeah. like G vent stuff with that kind of. Plan. Oh yeah. So. Kind of cool little fan. It's uh, yeah, definitely an air cool product, I and mean, yeah. it's got the nice stencil too. So, you asked me what kind of bulb is in there. Um, it's drawing fifty watts. So I'm gonna guess it's like a halogen energy saver, sixty water. Close. One hundred thirty volt, sixty water. Yep, yep, that's it. Well, here, that's it's a little yeah, it's a little wonky because it actually crank it up to yeah, one hundred thirty. Give it one hundred thirty and see. So that's actually what it can do. Oops, we went up to one thirty five. <laughs> one thirty eight. It looks a little more like a normal 60. Maybe. Yeah. So, I always find that funny. Let's see if we can figure out if all the weird weird bulbs Pete's got. We'll just try them out. Yeah. No, I can I can usually figure it out. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, this was free on Marketplace, uh, along with another one that we might throw up after. Um, and I, I wanted the other one specifically, um, but wasn't going to say no to this one, and I figured there was a good chance Rick would want this one. Yeah, he would want this one. So, uh, if Rick doesn't want it, then there's a good chance this will be on the for sale pile, but I don't think it's going to make it there, based no, on how I'm, quickly it went up. I'm pretty sure Rick wants this. Oh, well, we'll, we'll check with Rick and see. Well, I'll ask him after. Yeah. Okay. We'll yeah, see if it's no, avocado no, plants. Mm. Okay, well, let's take it to low. Yes. Yeah, go ahead. So, yeah, turn the light off and then go to low. Brown. And of course, this is how they have the blades on the irons, and we just didn't switch it. But yeah. you could easily switch it. No, I would. I normally would want to put the irons on the bottom. Yeah, the I think they would show the iron. It looks better. One point six amps, twenty watts, power factor of 0.84. Let's see what we're doing. It's actually got a decent low for a little fan. Like I mean, in terms yeah. of, I mean, So I'm gonna go ahead and assume for it's a, it's almost it's four. It's still going up. Oh, that's speeding up quite a bit. Yeah, that's still speeding up. It's kind of leveling off like 446. Yeah, I'm going to call that 111, 112. Okay. Well, I mean, but if you want an aesthetic level, it's actually not bad for a little fan. So I think it's interesting to me, and that maybe they weren't bought at the same place at the same time. I assume that both fans were bought at the same place at the same time. Mm. And the other one is very clearly a Menards fan. Mm-hmm. Um, but this, I've never seen these at Menards. It's not to say that they didn't. Menards would just have a run of any random thing because they felt like it. But yeah, well, John Menard found overstock of exactly. Well, there's, got, there's some for sale. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess we'll uh, bring it to medium. <laughs> so yeah, I, if anybody has seen these for sale at Menards, let me know. Otherwise, this could have been like a Lowe's or Home Depot one. I guess I don't know if there was Lowe's or Home Depot in the Milwaukee area in the '80s. Home Depot would have priced at Hampton Bay or some sort of thing. Eh, not in the 80s. Hampton Bay didn't 80, show up 80, until... 85? 85? Maybe 86. 85 or 86. I did a workbench video that'll have the exact yeah, year. Yeah, no, it was, it was mid-80s. I don't know. Okay. He's kind of flying. Well, check the RPM with this. Yeah, with do medium, let's it see. Definitely, it definitely picked up. Oh, yeah. So I'm reading... Like 912? Yeah, that 912 seems pretty on point. Yeah. Nice bearings. 228. Yeah, no, this hasn't needed anything. No capacitor, no bearings, yeah. no nothing. Wait, 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 wait. Did we do the... Yes, we did. Oh, okay, go ahead. Hi. Oh, this is going to fly. Oh, yeah. I have a feeling. Oh, yeah. 0.439, 47, power factor 1. So these might be capacitor-based speeds, which is uh, unusual for a small fan, small cheapo right. like this. Yeah. It might not be. It just could be how the motor is wired, but... It certainly could be. It's not giving coil taps, at least. 1220, so that's going to be like 305. Exactly, yeah, on the nose. Let's see what kind of siphon it does. Here, Pete, you want to do the siphon? <laughs> it's 36 inches, 707? Yeah, correct. I get 433. I feel it over here. Yeah, it is. Good. So it's about about a thirty one hundred. Okay. So that's not like super weak, but it's also not super strong. Right. For a thirty six inch fan, it's not bad, especially a yeah. cheap thirty six inch fan. Okay. 
I'm very impressed. Spin down. Spin down. Do we want to do reverse? You know what? Actually, I'm going to vote yes, just because I, I thought it looked like it was a little faster in reverse. When Let's I was find out. The switch is a little wonky. I know that much. So you might have to jiggle it a little. WD forty sometimes will help with that, or deoxid technically is the correct thing once, to fix it with. But yeah, no, I. Uh, this is a neat little fan. I like it. Oh yeah. Yeah, Menards did have a bunch of different thirty six inch brown fans. They had the um, the CECs, then the CEC George, the C- vented CECs, the CEC Georgians, the Lagunas, Heritages. I actually didn't know Menards sold the Georgian. I mean, I'm not surprised. But maybe I'm not, maybe I'm maybe I'm remember wrong. And they did. Kmart was the Kmart. And I was remember the Georgian. that Georgian on display a lot. Yeah, yeah Kmart had Georgian and and Laguna and uh, Caraway for sure. Yeah, I remember. I thought that. Menards had the Georgian too. But maybe I'm just making that up. I remember the Lagunas. I remember the Heritages. I remember the Vented Spinners, um, which were both in an air cool and like a Chinese CEC version. They had both. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this one's Taiwanese. Okay, let's see if the reverse switch worked. Very nice. All right, so this should be lower reverse. Yep. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of thing like I jiggle it a couple times and then I, I, it didn't give me any more problems. But. That's what she said. Mm-hmm. Seems a little slower in reverse on low, but that could just be this, the wind-up. Who oh, knows high reverse looked faster, but I could... If it's capacitor-based, it would make sense that low would be slower and high would be faster. Oh, well, you want to take it to me to mere metalness? Okay. Unless we're measuring it. No, I'd say let's just measure high. Oh, that's fine by me. I always found it interesting because the vents on the bottom are actually biased. Like one direction, you would think, based on the way it's designed, reverse would actually be better ventilation. But I think the vents on the top are the opposite pattern, so it balances out one way or another. Want to take it to higher metalness? Yeah. It seems yeah. slower in reverse, but let's measure it. Twelve thirty-six. It's a hair faster. It's a hair faster in reverse. Yeah, four RPM faster. Okay. So really, I'd call that the same. Yeah, that's probably. Okay, well, where do we think it's going to start on the rig of test? Um. I'm gonna, I'm gonna chance it with one. Okay, I'll go with two. I'll go with three. You can stop it. Oh. You can stop it with the test rig, you know. I used to do that in a lot of my older videos. That's true. Okay. All right, I'm, a, I'm gonna chance it with one. Let's see. All right. One. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> yep. Wow. Like, I did not test this ahead of time. Trust me. That's... Yeah, I'm in a small fan. It makes sense. It, I, yeah, this had a I shot. had a suspicion. This had a shot. So you taking this with you tonight, Rick? Probably. It's a good performer. It's I silent. Like, I like it a lot. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's really nice. This would also That's not wild. be a bad one to swap in place of that Hunter bath and dressing room in my storage room. That's funny. I couldn't remember what fans were in your storage room, but literally in my mind, I was like, I bet you Rick's going to put this in his storage unit. This, yeah. What's that? the other fan in there next to the bath and dressing that's a uh, Cas 32 inch CEC, which I don't really want to change. That what one. what's the in the other storage unit? Um, my first blender fan and a 36 inch Sea Island. What face is Sea Island? Anti brass. So no, what I would do is I'd have the Sea Island and the Cast CEC. What's the cat? What's the Cast? It's a thing? Car- it's a Carib, I think. Is what it's okay. Like. Yeah, I would have the Sea Island and the Carib, and then I'd have the two brown fans together. That's not bad. I could do that. Because then it almost looks like it's on purpose, you know? Mm-hmm. I was just going with a wood. Just threw up whatever looked with, the, with yeah. the surgeon. Okay, well, this is two. So here's three. I like the just throw up whatever look if it's like for practical purposes, like the like a flea market or the restore yeah. or stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. That, that I love, but if it's like a place where, you know, where it wasn't necessary to have fans at, like for the um, there's four so we're already moving pretty good here even at four let me just see because that's the current drop of the factory low power factor is different so it's probably not capacitors but it just, yeah. just be a very efficient coil tap system there's, thir- er, thir- thir- there's five 
<laughs> it's a little tired in here. But, I mean, that's fine because we're getting a ton of stuff done. We won't, uh, the, the viewer won't know it because only only some of it is on camera. But, um, yeah, lots of great things are happening tonight. Sex. Seven. Seven. And eight. And now, a word from our sponsor. Crunch, 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 crunch. By the way, there's your drink, Rick, that you were looking for. No, I found it. I, okay. I put it there. No, I, it was actually, like, right by the, whatever I was just working on. So. Mm-hmm. Slightly you know what else? Crunch, 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 crunch. All right. Here is nine. And what was it pulling on high? Like, point four. So you got a little ways to go. Yeah, it seems, yeah. it seems close, seems, but it's not yeah. electrically. Okay, so here's, here's ten. So Pete's going to get a couple digits. Here's 11. He might not get 20. Mm-hmm. And 12. And now, a word from our sponsor. Crunch, 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 crunch. But when I finally have him trained where he doesn't start crunching until I say, and now, a word from our sponsor. He did pretty good there. He, yeah, one of these times I'm going to do it, I'm just going to wait extra long just to see. <laughs> Here's 13. You can hit the high switch, but I'm pretty sure it was like 0.4. Oh, yeah, there's a noticeable audible difference. Yeah. 0.39 is where we end up. Okay, so let's see. So here's 15. 17. 17. Okay, so Oh, he might get a third one. 19. And 20. <laughs> you didn't no, wait. No. <laughs> our sponsor is going to drop us. <laughs> we're going to lose our sponsors because we're not cooperating with their advertising campaigns. 21. This is their tip 25. Mm-hmm. It's kind of just like creeping toward the. Yeah, the it might not go over, yeah. Let's go back to it. Okay, no yeah, over. So literally just kind of creep. Once you get close, it just starts creeping. I have a theory that I have no real evidence for. It's just kind of a gut feeling that motors that don't have a resonant frequency are tend to be better made. I always, I kind of thought that was fact. I figured it was just a better design. I mean, it, it seems to check because ones that go over tend to be like shaded pole, which as much as we love shaded pole fans, it's not as good of a motor design as permanent split capacitor. It's super archaic. Is really yeah. Um, K63s, which are also a pretty archaic design. Mm-hmm. You know, it does seem like a lot of the ones that are not quite as, as well designed. Right. It seems like, seems like the less... Also, there's like an age cutoff, too. Like, I don't think there's many fans after, like, the 90s that are not, you know, gonna, or that can't even hit a resonant frequency. What do we got next? Solid state? So yeah, it's gonna be solid. What do you think it's gonna do? I hate to say it, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with living room on this one. You're right on this? I'll chance it with bedroom. I'm gonna chance it with silent. It's been dead silent up till now. Mm-hmm. Okay, not silent. Okay, and it's also all the way down, so it might be yeah. weird things. No, it's not bedroom. No, it's living room. Might even be loud. How loud? Scales loud? It's not scales. It's not quite an 1895, but... No, it might might make it into the loud category, though. That's pretty obnoxious, yeah. It almost sounds like something's loose, though. Touch that globe, somebody. Nope. Well, globe's well tightened. Yeah, but you heard how it got quieter it got when you were touching it? Well, it's because you moved the ball in the socket, probably. I bet you it's something snoring. No, it's... Is it resonating through? Yeah. Okay. I, I wouldn't well, it does so well on all the other things that it's not like it's necessary for it to be like solid of state, but... Okay, well, zero to high? Yeah, this also kind of looks like a hardware store. It does! Like, yeah. Absolutely. Or they just randomly place it in a corner somewhere. I've seen that, and I've liked that a lot. Yeah, yeah they like... don't put it in a practical place. They put nope. it in a place that's like doesn't make sense. Or sometimes it'll be like over a counter, like the counter in the back where they make window screens or something yeah. like yeah. that. Yeah, I've seen that. What do you think, oh, inrush wise? I, I'm gonna say no inrush. Rattleness? Little. I'm stuck with big then. 
Oh, hold on, I gotta get the, uh, I, I didn't realize that the thing wasn't in the frame. There we go. Oh, wow. It's actually Big Inrush. Wow, that was, oh. Yeah, believe that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, let's, uh, how, how Rick is this? Oh, well, we gotta do an actual Rick test with this. Oh, we can do an actual Rick test, that's true. <laughs> you should, while you're here and... Yes. Okay. Uh, it'll be interesting. Yeah, turn the light on. Yeah, I'm gonna probably have to run it on uh, solid state. Solid state just That's uh, how we do it. Yeah, go ahead and kill the uh, how, the uh, video lights. It's gonna be running super fast though. Maybe turn it to low and do solid state. Yeah. Honestly, just put it. I, the lights not that bright anyway. We'll just put it on low. It's actually it's factory low. It's decent. That's, yeah, I, I would be hard-pressed to not give that out. <laughs> it's, I mean, it checks all the normal Rick boxes, brown, cheapo brown. spinner, hardware story. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, yeah, this is obviously yep. very Rick. How metal is it? Oh, well, just, I'm just still more for, like, the higher-end stuff, but it's still definitely something I would have seen as a kid. So I would have been drawn to this so. Probably a uh, low end of extreme metal, maybe high end of thrash and retro metal, classic oh, rock. That's that's really respectable. Yeah. yeah, where it's not something like I'm gonna go out of my way for. Yep. Yeah. If somebody handed it to you, you wouldn't yeah, it yeah. Either. Like there's a vacuum collector that's offered me mm. a CEC Georgian. He didn't know what it was. I told him, you know, yeah. he learned about me, you know. <laughs> Well, I'm going to say I think the same as Pete, where to me it would be like low end of Quick Trip, where right. I, if I still see one installed somewhere, it's super cool. I picked it up because it was free. If I saw it at a restore and it was 10 to 15 bucks, I might get it. I wouldn't drive out of my way to get it unless I knew that Rick wanted it. Um, but I definitely, you know, I definitely still think it's cool to see stuff like this. It's getting harder and harder to find. Mm -hmm. uh, so at that, on that note, let's thank our sponsors, Fanstick. Lightstick, Taco Burrito Mexico, Sperry, the beverage of fan collectors, 81220 LLC, where our motto is drop, 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 drop. Crunch, 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 crunch. Uh, Riggersheep.com, a fun game you can play with your friends. Uh, Udong batteries, when I think of batteries, I think of Udong. Uh, uh, power vacuum, the vacuum with more vacuums. Is that all the sponsors? I believe so. Wait, who's that at the door? Why look, it's Metal Jonas. Oh, lovely organ. I got a Gedect and a Diapason. Oh, you never know what you're going to get. Oh. And do you have any Homestead catalogs? Yes, we have all the ones from Beth. Oh, like with Whisper fans in them. Yes, and the Monterey. Oh, oh lovely. What oh. do you think of House on the Rock, Metal Jonas? Oh, House on the Rock. One word, incredible. One word, overwhelming. One, One word, word, amazing. Wow. <laughs> well, that's it for now, but uh, we will see you again soon, as always. Thanks for watching, and bye, bye. fansick.